What's up tribe? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. This will be a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Uh, I'm using both the Enchanted Map Oracle cards uh, mixed with the Good Tarot, both by Colette Baron Reed for this reading. And we started off with the Two of Air which is the Two of Swords in the traditional tarot. And it says, uh, you're going within to restore peace. You're yearning for harmony. Uh, so you'll benefit from asking yourself, what will bring me inner peace? What's the truth in the situation? Um, I'm gonna link Byron Katie's work she calls it the work and it's just questioning our thoughts and our beliefs. So she asks, for example, if the question was to be, um, this person, if for example, you believe that this person is the only person that can make you happy, you ask, is it true? And then you ask, can you absolutely know that it's true? And then you ask, how do you react? What happens when you believe that thought? And then who or what would you be without the thought? And I highly recommend you do that work, especially with the Ten of Air coming up next, telling me that you're ending some major cycle this could be a long-term relationship, a career, uh, a life situation of any kind. This card says you can end those cycles gracefully and be hopeful about new beginnings and grateful for the lessons learned because those lessons can free you from the patterns that no longer serve you. When you allow your circumstances to end with grace, and know that something better can appear at any time. The Five of Water talks about the need to release grief and allowing the ebb and flow of emotions to occur and to forgive yourself and others. Uh, this card says it's time to make a decision and I'm thinking about how you see how this looks like uh, the scales even when you put equal weights on a scale it takes some time for them to balance out so when you make that decision know that you need patience to be better aligned and to recognize your purpose and the purpose of that ending or that relationship. This card says, use your intuition. This is the high priestess, uh, which is the marriage of reason and in intuition, intellect and intuition. Um, self-conscious and subconscious this is the peace that you find from reconciling opposites and this will guide you to a more balanced situation this card says there are surprises for you to expect and this is all about the generosity that the universe exhibits when you flow love. Um, and it also, with the two of earth coming up next, is talking about the infinite possibilities that the universe has for you. You're, but you can't recognize them if you get stuck uh, in thinking or believing that one thing can uh, give you whatever it is that you desire. This is the infinity symbol. Infinite possibilities available to you. 
don't get hung up on one thing or one situation. Be adaptable. This is all about flexibility and adaptability to change. This is dancing with the universe, dancing the dance of life, which is all about change. Allow your circumstances to end gracefully. Know that they're only ending for something better to appear in your life. When you're flexible in change, you restore that harmony that you seek here. But you need to be adaptable. See how this is all about up and down and then finding balance, finding balance. I hope that uh, this resonated. Uh, if it did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, thank you for joining me. I am sending you my love and, and hoping you stay safe. Bye for now.